These taong uh, take on a whakapapa. They are often created for a particular situation or occasion, um, or a piece of wood or a bone or materials uh, gifted or found. For instance, uh, this magnificent uh, carved kōwawa here from Māori, Rāko Māori, uh, whose name is Kia Piu Piu, is probably uh, dates from the late 70s. So in, in actual fact, it's already nearing 40 years old. In terms of the uses, some of the specific uses we know are in healing. They were played at birth. Um, they were, they were in fact used uh, during um, during pregnancy. An instrument like the pu motomoto, this one here, um, this highly carved example here, was was an instrument that really only has two or three notes. Um, was used to assist conception, aid pregnancy, and promote it. But more importantly, after the easing the labour during the birth, was then used to play into the open fontanelle of the newborn baby. Used to intone and play and sing Whakapapa, Motietia, Pakiwaitara, Pūrāko, all of the kind of uh, layerings of knowledge that was necessary for this young child to know. Uh, quite extraordinary usages. We have a lot to learn about healing. Um, we know that the Purititi, the little spun disc that was blown and intoned over, was a huge tool of the of the tohanga that uh, that all of his, the karakia that ushered every new and every new activity and cleared the way time and time again through the passage of the day and the night, was a constant companion. Tata ki te toru te kau tau rātau e kohi ana i e nei rangahau. Nā tēnei kua tāe te hanga taonga pūro o nihe me e nei hoki kai te whare taonga o whakatū. What you see here are not artifactual taonga, they're not ar archaeological specimens, they're not artifacts. They are modern reconstructions, they are in materials that are, are the materials that uh, we use traditionally, but they are modern reconstructions. We have modified and built and, and prepared them so that in fact, uh, instead of having as, I offer, as we often find in carving an art, art gallery and outlets and so on, instruments that look beautiful and don't play, um, certainly these all sing well. I think that's a, that's a very significant feature of them. Up in the, up in the corner here is a tumutumu from Argelite and down below a pahu made from Argelite with its striker uh, resting there. We know of pahu in the north being semi-hollowed log gongs, but in the south, uh, both uh, Pounamu particularly and the Pākohi, the Argelite, um, we used uh, to, to indicate to people the presence or a gathering call or whatever, but could be heard over wide distance. A um, large selection here, of course, of the children of Hene Putahui, uh, the Kuawa Pongihu, the Hue Pudu Ho, Pudu Wai, and the Poya Fiu Fiu. And here, uh, perhaps a wider selection of Putatra than you often see in, in the museums, and particularly this very large one here, even though this is a Pacific conch, a Pacific shell, this is in a Pupaka Paka, um, a significantly larger instrument. And here we have the standard selection of uh, Putorina, Kuaua, uh, the Karanga Manu, um, Karanga Weka, double Putorina, Pumotomoto. A uh, beautiful object along the top here is, is the Pukaya. Brian, rather fancifully, has uh, created a, a, the beak of a moa there, the head of a moa, um, which of course were plentiful in this area in earlier times. And then finally in the section over here, Pudirihua, uh, Poratiti. Um, in, uh, in wood and, uh, and in stone. For a provincial museum, uh, a wonderful and comprehensive collection. One of the prongs of uh, the, the kaupapa of this journey, of course, has to be the return and the maintenance of knowledge and the returning back of both the knowledge, the information, the corridor and the assistance with the skills of playing. And while it proves to be a, a very slow and torturous task, the cordido is, is easily shifted across and moved over. But the playing skills are proving to be a very difficult thing and require enormous commitment from the learner and a real doggedness of wanting, this is something I really want to do. And of course, uh, given the pace of life in the 21st century, it's rare people who are prepared to put the kind of focus time and, into that work. Ta 
ku mahi taonga pūoro i te kai taru taru au, i te kai hikareti au, i te inu waipiro au. Nā taku urunga ki roti i tēnei mahi, kā rehe wā moira. Nā, nā te mahi anō nei i whakatau i aku hiehia. Uh, engari, kā reo i te ki, kā re i te pai e rā mea, mōku ake i tau pai ngā taonga pūoro i au, kua tau. te tangata i roto i te whao o te pūoro, ka tuku atu ngā kōrero, ngā hiehia, ngā wawata, ngā tūmomo kōrero o te tangatara ki te atua. En koira, koira tetahi o ngā tūmomo āhuatanga o tēnei taonga tuku iho me ki. Ko tetahi o aku moi moia wawata me ki mō ngā taonga pūoro ki te kāinga ki Aotearoa nei. Kia ako ngā tangata, ahakoa kōwai, ahako nō hea. Nā te mea, hei te mutu ngō te rā, ahakoa ka ako te tahi tangata me ki nō ahi treiria ki te whakatangitangi i te kōwaua, ko te mea nui he mātauranga Māori, nō te iwi Māori, I nae nei purei tahi ai a horo mona me Richard i nā kono he te waia tanu nui. From the hotspots of Aotearoa, watch this space. We pick the finest, hey. Woo, trippy, oh. the fairest, yes, indeed, <laughs> the wisest of them all. Hey. What do you want? Cut it. It's the aunties at it again. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> to dish out some sound advice. Kelly, I think you're having a bad hair day. <laughs> Good sage advice in there for you, my darling. Ask your auntie tomorrow, 6:30 on Māori Television.